I did have a telephone town hall with my seatmate, Representative Peterson and Senator Marco Leas. We love having the opportunity to reach out to our constituents and we love the questions that they ask us. It sure has been. This last week and a half has cut off policy cutoff week. So we any bill that didn't make it out yesterday from the House is not going to make it out from the House. So it's it was pretty crazy time, long hours, but it was wonderful to see the work we were able to get done. We, um, I was really excited about some of the leg uh, legislation or bills that we pass around workers' protection. You know, when we have a healthy and strong workforce, we're gonna have a strong economy. So it was wonderful to see some of those things that happen. Our very last bill last night was on equal pay. Uh, that was wonderful, you know, a person's gender should not define how much they're worth. Um, and so standing up uh, for our grandmothers and our mothers before us that still fought this battle and being able to keep them in mind when we f continue to fight this battle was a really uh, empowering thing to do. In the state of Washington, most women still get paid only 79 cents to every dollar. That's not okay. An engineer, because he's a male, should not be able to make more money than an engineer who's a woman if they're doing the same thing with the same qualifications. We're just asking for that fairness. A lot of education policy as the vice chair of education. I'm very excited. Education always makes me very excited. And there was a lot of great policies that would give more opportunities for our students to succeed and give them more access to reach their goals and their dreams. And I think as a parent, that's what every parent wants for their child. And then um, we also did uh, a series of bills around victim protection. You know, we have a lot of mental health laws coming out. We have a lot of laws that will protect our children who have been victimized, uh, women who have been victimized, domestic violence. I was really proud to, to see the passion in that room uh, from both sides on wanting to protect our victims. That was a really uh, moving and exciting time as well. we start the whole process all over again. So now every, every bill that we pass in the House will go to the Senate and every bill that was passed in the Senate comes over to the House and we start the hearings and we start this whole process again. After that is done, those bills that have survived, we um, make sure they're gonna get funded. And of course, we're starting the budget process fairly soon here too, where we start looking at the real tough questions, the questions everyone out there is asking. How are we gonna fully fund education? Are our teachers gonna get a cost of living raise? Are we protecting our safety nets? Are we gonna pass a trans transportation package? All of that is yet to come.